All right, let's do another example using um, our energy equations. Um, in this case, we have two huge reservoirs, okay? And one's at an elevation of 150 feet, or the surface is, and the other is an elevation of 25 feet. So, this is, so the datum's somewhere. But they give us these two elevations, and the question uh, states that the turbine, which is right here, draws water from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir. Okay? And then for a design flow rate of 15,000 gallons per minute, the friction head loss is 17 feet. And they want us to <clears throat> estimate the power extracted by the turbine. Okay, so they want to know the power of the turbine and they give us that the flow rate is 15,000 um, gallons per minute. And they also tell us that the frictional head loss, so the frictional head loss, HF, is 17 feet throughout, you know, the whole, the pipe here. And the turbine draws the water from the upper to the lower, so the, so the flow is going this way, right? The water is going this way from the upper to the lower. And we can call this point up here, let's just call it 1, and down here we'll call it point 2. Okay? The first thing we want to do is change this gallons per minute um, to something we like. We like um, and in, in this case it would be feet cubed per second, right? So we can do that. We can say Q, which is equal to 15 thousand gallons per minute and in one minute there are 60 seconds and in one gallon there is 0 0.133 um, 6 8 feet cubed okay kind of a yucky number but if we do the math we get that the volumetric flow rate is about 33.42 uh, feet cubed per second. Okay, so that's Q. And they want to know what the power of this turbine is. So remember, power is equal to device transfer head times gamma times Q. Okay, and in this case, unlike the other examples, we're looking for the turbine. So we're looking for H sub T. Okay. Remember, our other equation, our change in energy head is equal to the energy head out minus the energy head in. All right? And that's equal to the summation of all the pump heads minus the summation of all the turbine heads minus the summation of all the frictional head losses. Right? <coughs> and remember, our out minus in, water's coming in this way, right? So it's going to come out here into this reservoir, and the entrance is up here. So it's going from here to there, right? So we can say the out is the V2 squared over 2G plus the pressure at 2 over gamma plus the height at 2 minus in, which is up here, velocity 1. So velocity 1 squared over 2g plus pressure at 1 over gamma plus height of 1. Right? And that's equal to all of this. Now, if we look back at the system, are there any pumps? No, there's there's no pump, so there's no pump head. This is 0. Um, minus all of the turbines, or all of the turbine heads. In this case, there's only one, so we can just say minus ht minus all the frictional head losses. In this case, they only give us one throughout the whole system here. And that's 17 feet, so minus 17 feet. Right? Now, this is actually a really neat problem because a lot of things cancel out. The velocity at 2 up here at point 2, well, isn't that 0? Well, yeah. 
So this whole term is zero. The pressure at two, well, that's open to the atmosphere. So this is zero, right? And the height at two, well, they give us the height at two, that's 25. So that's going to be equal to 25. So we'll say 25, right? Minus 0.1, which we said was up here. And the velocity, the velocity at one is, well, that's also zero, right? So this term is zero. The pressure at one, well, it's open to the atmosphere. So this is zero. The height at one, well, it's 150 feet, right? 150 feet. And if we rewrite this, um, we get 25 minus 150, which is negative 125 feet, is equal to minus, um, I'm going to distribute the negative out, we'll get HT plus 17 feet. All right, and the negatives cancel out. And if we solve for HT, we get HT, or the, the turbine head is about, or is, 108 feet. Okay? And remember our power equation, I'll, I'll do that in a different color. Our power equation is um, the power, in this case it's for the turbine, is equal to the device transfer head of the turbine times the gamma times Q, right? And HT we know, we just found. Gamma of water, well, we know that. And the flow rate, well, we found up here. So the power is equal to 108 feet, and the specific weight of water is 62.4 pound per foot cubed times um, the flow rate, which we found to be 33.42 feet cubed per second. And if we, if we multiply all that together, we get power is equal to 225,225. <laughs> watts. And if we convert that to kilowatts, the power is about 225 um, kilowatts, about 22, 22 or 225 kilowatts. And that's our answer. That's the power extracted by um, the turbine.